This video is on the use of the anchor balloon technique for uh, coronary sinus cannulation. Uh, this is a patient that was had a previously failed attempt uh, at CS cannulation and LV lead placement. Uh, initially, I had difficulty uh, locating the CS with a braided core, and when I have that problem, I hand shape a six French multipurpose guide to the shape of a braided core, and I find that to be very helpful in locating a CS that's difficult otherwise. And there are specific catheters that you can hand shape, and they're listed below. Uh, if you start with a, any something other than this, it's difficult to create the proper shape. So using that hand-shaped multi-purpose catheter, I was able to balance uh, on, the, on the coronary sinus, but couldn't advance a wire other than a, an angioplasty wire. All the more stable wires uh, knocked the tip of the catheter off the CS. So at this point, uh, we'll advance a three millimeter by 15 millimeter coronary balloon over the wire into the coronary sinus and as far as possible uh, into the anterior interventricular vein or any small vein and then inflate the balloon to, to create a, an anchor. Uh, my initial attempt to advance the multipurpose guide was without traction and you'll see that as I advanced the CSOS created a fulcrum point and the back end of the guide just dropped and I was not able to cannulate the CS. Um, by applying traction on the balloon and then advancing the guiding catheter, I was able to advance into the coronary sinus. Um, I didn't think I needed the balloon anymore, so I deflated the balloon after I put an Amplatz wire uh, to stabilize uh, the uh, multipurpose guide and I'm trying to advance the sheath here into the coronary sinus and you can see that uh, it's just not going to happen. So I had to put the balloon back out um, and inflate the balloon and once again uh, apply tension on the balloon and this time uh, work the sheath over the multipurpose guide stabilized by the balloon the Amplatz wire. Um, and you'll notice that there's actually a waste here in the balloon, which when you're trying to create an anchor is an encouraging um, finding. Now, you're all obviously probably concerned that we might have damaged the vein or caused it a section, but you'll see here, this is, the, this is where the balloon was. And you'll notice that there's no dissection or even uh, disruption of the vein uh, where the balloon was. So from there, the LV lead implantation was relatively easy. Um, the patient uh, was really headed for an epicardial lead uh, without the use of uh, these interventional techniques. Thank you for your interest.